the fifth and final ESA investment conference has been wrapped up. So far, they've managed to attract, listen to this, over 1.5 trillion rand in investment pledges. It's the pledges that are the important part. It's higher than the targeted 1.2 trillion. Well, Aspen Pharmacare is among those who are promising to invest. Senior Executive Stavros Nikolaou, I will correct myself, Dr. Stavros Nikolaou, uh, joining us to discuss uh, their investments in South Africa as a destination of choice. Hello to you, Doctor. Good to have you back on ENCA. Now, of course, if memory serves correctly, you have pledged in two previous investment summits. Has it actually worked out for you? Good morning. Gareth, good morning. Uh, please call me Stavros, and thanks very much for having me on your, on your show again. Uh, as you indeed correctly point out, Aspen uh, made pledges in, during the first uh, edition, a pledge of 3.4 billion rand, and a second one during the fourth edition of 500 million rand, so collective 4 billion rand. And um, I'm pleased to say that we have fully executed on, on, on both of those um, investment commitments. Um, of course, we know that there are some of the commitments that uh, have been made over the four editions that have not been fully executed. Mm -hmm. So I'm pleased to say that we are amongst those that have fully executed and we are manufacturing and have in fact manufactured some very important products, um, not least the uh, the COVID vaccine under contract manufacture, um, much of which went to South Africa and the African continent. So overall, it's it's been a good experience, not one without challenges, of course. Um, we know we know what the challenges are in the country, but uh, what we did find is when we ran into a problem, a bottleneck or a constraint, um, government were very accommodating in attempting to resolve the, the issue. Uh, this, for me, is a very uh, important point, the latter one that I've just made, because you cannot put yourself out there as an attractive investment destination mm. if you do not have the private and public sector working together. And our experience was favorable in respect to that type of a partnership. Let me ask you this, uh, Stavros, if you don't mind. Uh, what is the move, uh, what's the strategy between making a pledge and then signing off on the money? What needs to happen? Because lots of pledges are made, as you say, the previous four editions, not all of the money pledged actually came through. Why? Just give me a sense, uh, briefly, if you could, what, what, what pushes a company the size of yours to go, here's our pledge. Obviously, you go back, there's meetings and discussions where you then uh, sign the check. What needs to happen in that little that little stage. Aspen is a is a South African multinational, so we have uh, manufacturing operations um, in all all six continents. So we could elect to put up these investments in any one in any one of those six continents. Uh, I mean, we've got a significant presence in Europe, uh, in manufacturing in Latin America, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, so the decision-making process is we, we first work out uh, the rationale to the investment. Of course, as any company would do, you do all your due diligence. Uh, you then decide on what location is the best fit for that particular manufacturing technology that you wish to, uh, uh, to, to go ahead with. Mm. Um, so we, we did all of that. Um, we backed South Africa, our, our PE Kubeja facility is our flagship facility. Um, went ahead and made the pledge. And then, of course, making a pledge and executing are two different things. Um, I, I'm pleased to say most of the companies that have pledged um, have either commenced their projects or fully executed. I think those that haven't commenced are in the minority. But in the case of Aspen, um, as soon as we made the pledge, it was shouldered to the wheel and we executed in the time frame that we expected to mm. execute. Stavros, in. I'm going to ask you said, very briefly, forgive me for interrupting you, I'm running up against 8 o'clock headlines yeah. here. I do want to ask you this though, uh, any other investments that are still in the pledging stage, what do you tell them this morning? Give us uh, just a, a quick summary of why, as, of why you think it's still worth not just pledging but actually putting money down. Just very briefly if you could, Stavros. Because I think South Africa, with all its constraints and challenges, still represents a, a very 
uh, a very interesting emerging market opportunity. We are the gateway into Africa, I believe, and I think we've demonstrated that time and time again. Uh, I think there are, with all the constraints, significant pockets of excellence. Uh, I think a very strong private sector, a private sector that is starting to work more closely with South Africa. So I would look at South Africa on that basis. The constraints, like energy, I think can be turned into opportunity. I think the fact that you're opening up energy into solar, wind, gas, battery, and, and other um, parts of an energy mix are opportunities rather than constraints, mm. futuristically speaking. And then I think above all, I, I am seeing government that is willing, and it was demonstrated at the conference yesterday, uh, to, to try and facilitate these investments and de-bottleneck where those bottlenecks do exist. So I think we're not perfect, but I think we are an important emerging market destination worth looking at.